awake now, are you? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. don't panic, just calm down. As much as I love watching you squirm, we've got some talking to do first. My lord. Oh, what's with that nasty scowl? Are the chains not comfortable? No? And after I put so much effort into binding your wrists above your head? Is it because your toes can barely reach the ground? <laughs> well, unfortunately for you, they are necessary for now. I can't have you picking a fight or trying to escape now, can I? After all this time, trying to unsurp your annoying little kingdom, I finally got you my claws. My, my, what's with the shudder? What kind of reaction was that? Do you like it when I whisper in your ear? Hmm? I see little goosebumps on your neck. Even with that nasty little scowl on your face, you can't stop yourself from feeling so tingly. Can you? How cute, little prince. These poor, sensitive ears of yours will be your downfall, won't they? You're so cute when you're nervous. Shh. Hush. Hush. I know, I know. Stop resisting. I am not going to harm you. But looking at that defiant little scowl on your face... I don't think you've realized your position, little prince. I will do as I please. And you will submit to me. You don't have a choice in the matter, little man. Might as well enjoy it, right? Don't be frightened. I will be gentle. I won't hurt you. Not unless you beg me to. I may be a villain. But needless violence is unappealing, don't you think? Besides, it'd be much cuter to see you melt in my hands. But I can see the fear in your eyes. And oh, I do love it. Mm, I love it, but I want you to enjoy my company first. The fear can come later. Oh, you're already trembling. Hush, shh, shh, hush and listen to me. Pay attention. First, we have some new rules to establish. Your kingdom belongs to me now. Your castle, your land, your people. And you, my little prince, are all mine. Secondly, you will not speak unless spoken to. 
Not that that seems to be a problem. You're too frightened for any words, aren't you? If you do speak, you will refer to me as mistress. You will do as I say. You don't really have much of a choice, now do you? <laughs> Thirdly, as terrifying as I am, I do not intend to harm you or do anything cruel to you. Don't worry, little prince. In exchange for your good behavior, I'll treat you with kindness. I may be a villain, but I'm not as boorish as to stoop as low as a common thug. So, behave for me, little prince, and you'll be well taken care of. I'll see to that. Now, where were we? Right, right. You are trembling. Shh, 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 shh. Hush now. I won't hurt you. Just relax. As long as you behave, I will treat you kindly. But firstly, let me take a look at you. Hmm. What a cute face you have. I'm surprised you haven't already been married off to some noble prince or princess. Either way, your precious face is perfectly adorable. Even with that look of fear in your lovely eyes. In fact, I think it suits you. But I do find the look of fear in a man ever so appealing. So raw. And yet, so soft, in a way. Oh, you poor thing. It must be so nerve-wracking, being so scared. So nervous. But that also makes your entire body more tingly. Every sensation heightened. Hearing every little sound. Listening. Waiting for something. Feeling every little thing brushed against your skin, hyper aware of every single touch. That's why I love fearful boys so much. You're always forced to try and put on a brave face, when in reality you're just as scared as anyone else, aren't you, little prince? But here, you can drop that brave facade. You don't have to wear that pensive, nasty little scowl. Just give in. You haven't got any other choice, after all. So, set that heavy burden aside and just let it go. Yes, that's it. Watching you shudder and quiver for me as I cry. 
easier to bend people's will by fear. So much faster than all those boring, stressful politics, isn't it, my little noble prince? Under my rule, I'll see to it that your kingdom prospers. And... If you wish, you could rule alongside with me. Together, we would rid the kingdom of the corrupt and improve it tenfold. Just leave the work to me, my dear. You can just be my cute little prince. That I'll spoil with gentle touches. Running my fingers through your gorgeous hair. You're still shaking. That's alright, my dear. In time you'll understand. And you'll learn to enjoy the fear. Live for it. Thank you for it. But until then, just rest, little prince. And once I can trust you, we can take off these heavy, heavy chains. Unless, of course, you'd like to keep them. It's all up to you, my dear prince. It's all up to you. Now, as much as I'd hate to leave you, I have a lot of work to do. The kingdom won't reorganize itself, after all. But, think about my offer. About taking place at my side. Or if you prefer the dungeon, that can also be arranged. Whatever your heart desires, my lord. Until then. Until later. Farewell, my sweet, dear little prince. <laughs> 